Hello everyone, my name is Mickey Howe, and this is part 2 of After Effects Basic Keyframing. Today we are going to finish the lower third by animating the text layers. So let's get started. First, I'm going to park my timeline indicator to the last keyframe of our current animation. This is where we will start our text animations. I will navigate to the Effects and Presets panel and choose Animation Presets then the text folder, then animate in. I want to add the typewriter effect to the golden retriever text layer so I will simply drag the typewriter preset onto that layer. This adds two keyframes to this layer automatically. I will select the layer and hit the letter U on my keyboard to bring up all parameters with keyframes. I can see the default range is 2 seconds and 15 frames. I only want the duration to be one second. So I will park exactly one second from the first keyframe and then simply drag the second keyframe back. I will hold shift when I get close to the timeline indicator so that it will snap into place. Now I'll render this. That looks pretty good. Now I want to add a stretch and blur effect to the other text layers. This effect can be found under animation presets and transition movement. This is not normally a text effect, but I like how it looks on text. I will now drag the stretch and blur effect to the last two text layers. Render this and see how it looks. Again, I don't like the duration of the default effect settings. I prefer my stretch and blur of text effects to be around 15 frames. So I'll park 15 frames ahead of the first keyframe Lasso both keyframes and slide them back, holding shift when I get close so they snap into place. So let's render this and see what we have. Alright, looks pretty good. The last thing I'd like to do is have an entire lower third fade away altogether. The easiest way to accomplish this is to pre-compose all the layers. First, let me close up all my layers. To pre-compose the layers, just click on the top layer then shift click the bottom layer of the lower third, leaving the background image. Now navigate to layer, then choose precompose. Rename the new precomp to lower third precomp and select OK. Let's navigate to 5 seconds. Hit the T key to select opacity on the precomp layer. I will hit the stopwatch to set our first keyframe. Then I will move my timeline indicator down to 5 seconds and 20 frames. Then I will go back and type 0 for the value to set our second keyframe. Now let's render the entire composition out and see what we have. Ok mm -hmm. that looks good. And remember, any part of this can be easily adjusted or modified with selecting any of our keyframes or any of the layers to change out the text or the timing. So we can utilize this project over and over again as this being our template. Thank you for watching and to learn more tricks and tips like these make sure you sign up for one of our upcoming After Effects classes at GeniusDV.com and stay tuned for more After Effects tutorials.